All right, how are you guys? And today we'll be talking about exploring conic sections. We're going to talk about what makes a conic and how it applies to actual real world stuff. Okay, so exploring conic sections. All right, so now what you have to do is imagine two cones, one on top of the other at the very point, okay? And we're going to slice it a couple different ways. So first off, we're going to go completely uh, perpendicular. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually make a circular-ish shape. Okay, and that's actually going to be a circle. Okay, now that equation is represented right here on circles. It's x squared plus y squared. You could have some numbers in there with it. Uh, so for example, it could look like this. Let's do x minus h. Okay, let's do parentheses y minus k there we go okay so it would look like this right there okay all right so it could have some numbers mixed in there the key thing is that they equal a number so here's the actual little helpful hint that tells circles different from other conics is that it actually equals a number squared okay now if I went to ellipses an ellipse would actually be if I cut it not at a perpendicular angle and what that's going to be is that's going to be an elongated type of circle okay and that's not exactly the best elongated but that's actually how it works okay so ellipses are going to be in this form and we're only going to learn about them centered about the origin okay alright so ellipses uh, x squared over a number uh, plus y squared over a number equals one this is the key to knowing the difference between an ellipse equation and a circle equation. Now you could also have the y squared first and I'll tell you about the differences between the a and the b a little bit later but for right now uh, it's usually going to be x squared and here's another key that tells the difference between an ellipse and a hyperbola is they have pluses between them. Okay alright now in order to get a parabola we're going to cut parallel to one of the sides of the cones okay and what that actually does is that creates a parabolic shape okay that goes along it like this that's once again not the best drawing in the world okay but parabolas are actually explained they're actually the easiest ones to identify because they usually have an x and a y squared or a y and an x squared okay they never have both of them being squared so that's the easiest difference to tell the difference between a parabola and a circle ellipse and hyperbola if you notice all of the circles ellipses and hyperbolas all have x squared and y squared together okay alright and for example uh, well just not for example but let's actually do it if we want to do a hyperbola we would cut it perfectly parallel or I guess you would say probably perpendicular with the bases of the two cones okay and if you notice that will actually create not just one but two perfectly symmetrical type parabola ish like things okay now in a hyperbola equation it's the only one that has a minus in there so that's huge that you recognize that there are minuses okay so it's the only one that really does that so if you're kind of like trying to look at an equation and tell me right away what conic it is you can look at it and go oh uh... you know hyperbola has got minuses uh... parabola has got either an x and a y an x and a x squared and a y so this is the only one that has minuses this one has an x and y squared or x squared and y okay so that one's that one right there uh, circles are going to be equal not to one well it, they could be equal to one uh, but they're not there's no division no division okay and once you eliminate all those other three you can actually say if it's an ellipse or not and that's really kinda cool how it works okay on the next slide I actually have pictures of everything so it's a little bit easier to see so circles are going to be pretty much like this they're going to be perfectly round not always at the center ellipses just for the sake of being in algebra 2b uh, they are going to be uh, centered around the origin okay now if you did want to change that up 
all you would have to do is put some x minus h and some y minus k in here and just square that as you go okay all right parabolas we ha we know definitely about this type of parabola going up and down or down whatever opposite direction but but sideways parabolas are going to be new and this is going to be the x equals y squared type okay now hyperbolas are really kind of cool because they're kind of governed by these things called asymptotes which we've talked about before but they're going to be governed by asymptotes and they're going to be parabolas in the sense that they kind of look like parabolas but they're not exactly they're hyperbolas and they're they're going to be going in opposite directions okay and this stuff guys all of conics is used for optics a lot of physics dealing with lasers all kinds of stuff so please understand this is some really cool stuff we're getting into Okay. All right. I'll talk to you later when we talk more about conics. Bye.